Just that. Boom. Pineapple. Oh, wow, yeah. Crazy, huh? Woo! <laughs> That's good time. That's a really good time. <laughs> Now then, another the semester reporting for the Zero Waste Cooking School. Today, we're cooking with... Ed Gamble. We're cooking a... <laughs> beef shin calzone. Uh, today, Ed, I wanted to, uh, to braise some meat for you. Oh, thank you. I read um, that it was uh, one of your favourite things to eat. I love it, and it's my favourite thing to cook as well. I think you can impress people quite a lot yes. with that, but really it's, it's heat and time doing a lot of the work. Absolutely, right? yeah. yeah, absolutely. So it's a kind of an amalgamation of Neapolitan style calzone and a kind of Cornish pasty. Oh, because this is my language you're speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. great. But it sounds like essentially if you presented it to an Italian or a Cornish person, they'd spit in your face, They would right? spit, yeah, in, okay. uh, spit in our face. <laughs> Today we're using two main cuts for this calzone, uh, flour and meat, both of them have in common that they're regeneratively farmed. So regeneratively farmed grain and a regeneratively farmed beef shin. So Ed, the first thing we're going to do is make the dough. Very easy, just uh, activated yeast, warm water, a little, uh, little whisk. We're basically going to leave that for a couple of minutes to activate. And then just uh, whack it in. Olive oil and salt. So with with baking, like I get put off baking quite a lot, making doughs, because everyone always talks about it being a science rather than yes. It never, it never sounds fun. No, no. Is that the? Do you think that's the case? Do you have to be really, really exact with everything? Yeah. Yeah, 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 until the point where you understand the nature of things mm. and then you can go rogue. You can go on vibe. You can go on vibe, you can feel it, in, intuit it, like how the dough's feeling and yeah. like tweak it, change it. So we're just going to mix this on medium speed for five minutes and that's it. Okay, so that's had five minutes. Uh, We've just been stood here the whole time, by the way, in sure. silence as that's mixed. Mm -hmm. Ed, could you just drizzle some olive oil just in that little bowl? That I can manage. Thank how, mu you, how much Squire? do you want to drizzle? Um, yeah. Like that? Beautiful. Beautiful. And then I'm just going to whack it in. Um, we're going to let that sit for one hour. Okay. And then we're going to shape into little dough balls. Great. We're just going to tip this out and I'm just going to ask you to um, cut them into 150 gram uh, dough balls and then leave them on the bench. Okay, so you trust me to, what, do you reckon I can do this by eye? Yeah, uh, yeah. Just My history with this sort of thing is not good, by the way. That's fine. Working that's with fine, dough. Oh, oh, Ed, you've let yourself down. Have a little feel of my ball. <laughs> See how tight Got it is? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's a good there, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, normally if I, on the rare occasions I make dough, and it end up looking like I've been attacked by some sort of 80s monster. Like it's just like won't get yeah. come off. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. We're going to leave that in the fridge overnight. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to add cut two sort of steaks out of the shin. Um, yeah, no, you when you say steak, I'm extremely greedy. <laughs> So when I have a steak, it's, uh, you know, dick, old school dictionary. Uh, maybe um, new school dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, more. A little bit skinny. Yeah, yeah like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Whack it in. Slapping it in? Yeah. And so this is the bone marrow from the shin uh, that I've asked the butcher to cut that way so we can scoop out little nuggets of bone marrow and then we're going to put that through the mix so then when we're eating it we have this like fatty, unctuous, delicious Yes, yes, yeah. yes It's just going to be moist as hell These are all good words <laughs> Apart from moist, but I think in this context it's acceptable Moist is good, moist is good Delicious. Yeah, yeah, it's really genuine delicious. flavor of roasted. Um, yeah. Oh. Add the beef stock paste to the water, whisk it, and then once your beef shin is caramelized, 
add it to the water, bring it to a simmer, pop the lid on, pop it down onto a low heat, and then braise for three to four hours until tender. So Ed, if you would do the honor of chopping up the meat. Oh, I would be honored. Thank you so much. Right. So you don't want to chop it too fine. Mm -hmm. You want a nice little texture. Nice a bit of bite, little, right? A bit of, yeah, a little bit. This is a, an important bit. I'm gonna take this stock and I'm gonna reduce it yeah. into like a sticky jus, which is gonna be the main sort of binding agent for our mix. We're gonna do something a little bit unusual. We're gonna actually chop rosemary and put it into the mix cold. So we're just gonna chop it really fine and then it's just gonna whisper through the mix. Amazing. Bing. Loveliness. I suppose you don't, yeah, you don't need like huge amounts of that. Yeah. And is, what's this, did you say? It's just like a rhubarb jam. Oh, really? Rhubarb? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's silky, unctuous, fatty, sweet. Um, That's how I describe myself. But um, see that, we're going to just stick it in the fridge so it sets all the fat set, mm. and then we can ball it into the, the correct weight and then just stick it in the calzone. Give this a go. Let's give this a go, Ed. I, I believe um, in you. I believe in you. You're wrong too. <laughs> I'm fairly heavy-handed with stuff. That's so. right. That's right. You feel that gas. You don't want to knock too much of that gas out. Yeah. So it's about um, being a bit gentle and. Yeah, but see what you're doing here. You've got thick ends. Yeah. You so want I want like... to work on the ends a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Genius. Oh yes. Yes, Ed. Yes. Woohoo! Does it work? Thank you. You can tell that's more of a calzone than, than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look at that hump. It's like someone <laughs> hiding under a duvet. <laughs> Should we get him in? Oh yeah, let's get him in. Whack it in. In like a minute or two, they'll become cooked. Oh, Ooh. look at them. They look pretty sweet. Both got quite a lot of colour on them, I'd say, on one side. Okay, we're going to finish these calzones. Uh, are you happy? Very. Good. So you this... said you wanted a bit of colour on them, yeah, so I made beautiful. sure that happened. Yeah, it's beautiful. Dark is good. Oh this my. This is the bone marrow that we rendered that's inside, so we're not wasting anything. Else. You're an absolute pervert. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is pretty naughty. Um, lots of it. And then we're going to put on... Um, a really healthy, muscular dose of pepper. Yeah. Pepper is just amazing. I'm very excited about this, Doug, I'm not going to lie. Let's do it. A little nibble. I didn't even get to the meat. No. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> it's lovely though. It's really good. Look at that. Woo! Stunning. This is it. Um, Ed, what, what are your flavour, what, 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 what's ah. your palate telling you? Mm. 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 That darkness is amazing. Mm. The first thing you get is that really nice hit of rosemary as mm. well. Mm. It just gets you straight away. It's delicious. And then the sweetness and then just the tenderness of the meat. Mm. Mm. It's sweet. That bone marrow. Oh, oh. Mm. Giving my mouth an orgasm. Mm. Mm. There's almost something quite medieval about it as well, isn't mm. there? Mm. Hot bread and meat. Yeah. <laughs> this is the end. This is the end. This is the end of this beefy transmission. <laughs>